Our reading this morning is from Matthew's Gospel and comes at about half way point in Jesus' mission to in this account. This passage follows Jesus telling tell, telling the parable of the sower, the first parable of many shared in the following chapters. This is Matthew's opportunity to tell his readers why Jesus would choose parables as a way of opening people to the Spirit of God, to a new way of seeing and hearing his message of love and compassion and wisdom. Like the story of Nicodemus, which some of you heard here last Sunday, Jesus is challenging each person to realize how much of life is lived without really paying attention. Looking, but not seeing. Listening, but not hearing. Once recognizing this reality, Jesus then uses parable to reframe life's experiences, knowing that story can help us to see and hear differently, paying attention to the voice of spirit, the God presence that is already within us and among us. In the parable of the sower, Jesus compares the quality and lived, and lived presence of the spirit within each person to seeds sown in different soils. The better the soil, the more evident the God's presence, the more possible the kingdom of God. Reading from Matthew 13, 10 and 17. Then the disciples came and asked Jesus, Why do you speak to them in parables? He answered, The reason I speak to them in parables is that seeing they do not perceive, and hearing they do not listen, nor do they understand. With them indeed is fulfilled the prophecy of Isaiah that says, you will indeed listen, but never understand, and you will indeed look, but never perceive. For if people's hearts have grown dull, and their ears hard of hearing, and they have shut their eyes, so that they might not look with their eyes, and listen with their ears, and understand with their heart, and turn, and I would heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Truly, I tell you, many prophets and righteous people have longed to see what you see, but did not see, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. 